we've all heard that chocolate is full of antioxidants, but that is just the beginning of all the health benefits. And I'm here with our friend, Nurse Barb, to tell us it's actually okay to eat chocolate every day. Yeah, it sounds too good to be true, <laughs> but it's true. You can have chocolate every day in moderation. In moderation. So what are we looking at when you say chocolate? How many ounces? What's the right kind of chocolate? Differences between milk and dark. Right, there's so much to learn about yeah. chocolate. So let's get started. First of all, you wanna look for something that's over 70% cocoa powder, right? Because okay. that's got the most antioxidants, the most health benefit. Number two, you wanna go for one ounce of chocolate. This is about one ounce of chocolate per day. Try not to exceed it, right? Yeah. Too much of a good thing is still too much. Yes, yeah, so, or you can get that piece or some chocolate chips to spread it out throughout oh, the day. Yeah, I'd like to do that before every meal. Yeah. And I'll tell you more about that in a minute. Okay. Here's the thing, so dark chocolate, is different than milk chocolate. Milk chocolate has a lot more saturated fat and sugar. And we don't want too much sugar because that can raise our blood sugar levels and that can lead to diabetes. Yeah. So dark chocolate has a lot of health benefits and one ounce is about what we want every day. And one of the health benefits is antioxidants. Remind us again why those are good for us. So antioxidants are present in things that have dark colors like blueberries, red wine, coffee. All my favorite things, there's Barbara. <laughs> and chocolate. <laughs> Me too. They're, they're flavonoids and the antioxidants help our blood cells prevent cancer. So they help prevent inflammation. So you can have a little bit of dark chocolate with a glass of wine. You can savor it and you can get double the duty. Now I love to prevent cancer so I like to eat dark chocolate. There you go. Prevents cancer. And uh, what other benefits I hear also helps with your blood pressure? Can you believe it? This is amazing, right? So dark chocolate helps your blood vessels be a little bit more pliable, it helps reduce blood pressure. And this has been shown in studies, not just, you know, from me saying that it's okay. Right, right, right. So it really helps with your cardiovascular health. Okay. So a little bit of dark chocolate is something that a lot of researchers recommend to people so they feel good, right? Yes. And they enjoy the taste helps reduce their appetite, yeah. and it also helps reduce diabetes. Okay, that's my next question. People who have diabetes, what should they know about chocolate and the specifics? So here's another thing that you might think is too good to be true, but it's not. When people have dark chocolate, it actually reduces their appetite. They oh. eat less because really? they feel fuller. The secret is to have a little bit of dark chocolate before a meal. Okay. And again, dark chocolate is better than milk because milk has all that sugar true, that true. raises your blood sugar level. And another thing too, great to mix it with nuts. I love that because nuts are protein. Yeah. So when you mix dark chocolate with nuts, it levels out your blood sugar. There you go. And these are great in a lot of like trail mixes, right? They have chocolate chips and nuts in it. Yeah, so you need quick energy. Yeah. You're getting that quick energy. You feel good. It tastes good. And when you feel good, that's the other thing about dark chocolate. Boosts your mood. It does. Yes. It works on the same receptors as serotonin receptors in our brain. That's our brain's feel good neurotransmitter. Yes. I love that. So people feel better, taste good. But guess what else it helps with? Your skin. It does help with your, your memory. Skin. It helps with your memory. That's right. I've heard that too. Right. So what chocolate does is it works on the neurons in our brains on the neuroplasticity. It helps our brains develop new pathways so we can learn new things like learning French while we eat a little bit of There you chocolate. go. All the health benefits. What do we know, need to know though? Uh, fact or fiction about heavy metals present in dark chocolate? I'm so glad you asked this because there are heavy metals like lead and cadmium in some kinds of dark chocolate. Yeah. So read the labels. And it's recommended that people under the age of 13 and pregnant and breastfeeding women yeah. only have one ounce per week. A week. Because you know our brains are developing and we yeah. don't need those heavy metals um, when our brains are developing at that age. Yeah. But after that, one ounce per day is considered safe. There you go. At least you don't have to get rid of chocolate altogether. <laughs> oh yeah, because there's so many health yeah. benefits and that's trace amounts of heavy metals. There you go. But it's always good to be really careful, especially with kids yes. and pregnant and breastfeeding women. Well, great advice. Good to know we can eat chocolate. All you chocolate lovers out there, I'm gonna get my one ounce for the day. Okay, okay me too. One ounce? That's it. All right, cheers. Cheers. <laughs>